Hello everyone, my name is Larry Kuntz, President of North American Drilling Corporation. I'm right here today on the North American Drilling TIX well number one in Nolan County, Texas. Today is December 18th, 2009. Uh, we spud it in last night about one o'clock and uh, this morning we just set surface casing and they're, they're going to let it cure for about 12 hours and we'll be back to drilling. Our total depth on this one will be about 6,700 feet going after the Ellenberger Formation, the Strawn, Mississippian, and a few other smaller zones. But uh, we're in a very good location and got good weather. A little bit chilly here today, but uh, good weather for drilling. And I just wanted to get out here and shoot a little video for you, uh, kind of show you how things run and how things operate out here on the drilling rig. Um, we should be drilling this well in about 15 days or so, should be down to bottom. And uh, we'll, at that time, we'll shoot electric log, uh, have our geologists examine the logs and, and determine if we have a hydrocarbon barren formations there. But uh, everything's going good so far. Uh, we should be getting into our first pay zone about 3,000 feet or so in the next few days. Uh, we will also be mud logging it as we get down there and, and watching the samples very closely. Our geologists will be, will be working with the mud logger and we'll have those reports also. Uh, we also are going to be uh, setting up the drilling reports, permits, mud logging ports, all that will be out there on the clients only section of the website. We'll also email that out to you individually. If you have any questions at all, feel free to give us a call at any time. Uh, but right now, I want you to enjoy the video and welcome to the North American Drilling TIX well number one. Thank you very much. Dollar drilling rig number 24, December 18th, 2009, on the TIX number one. We just set surface casing, so we're kind of waiting for that to cure and getting everything else getting ready to drill out the cement and get back to drilling. We've drilled, we've already drilled a few hundred feet down, now we've got to drill out that cement. Normally the Kelly fits inside the turntable and turns around and around and just below that is the Kelly and that ties into the drill pipe. And so the turntable turns around and around and turns the drill pipe and at the bottom is the drill bit, stabilizers and all that. And uh, the drill bit, here's one right here, here's a surface bit. That's what we used to drill the surface with. And the bit's at the bottom and that cuts through the rock and all of the uh, cuttings come back up and are flushed out into the pits. Now over here, this is a, basically this is a wedge type device called the slips. And the slips normally fit in there to hold the, the pipe in place. Right now that's the casing. That's the surface casing that we just cemented in. They'll cut that off at the bottom and uh, we'll drill in the center of that and drill the uh, cement out. And right here are some heavy collars. These are heavy collars. And they add weight to the bottom of the drill string. But normally these uh, slips fit in there and hold the pipe in place. This is called the draw works, which is basically a giant winch with the, the cable. Draw works, and this is the uh, brake handle here. These are the hydraulics that, that run the draw works. There's a man that a man normally stands here and, and works the brakes, it's called the brake man, and uh, he's working the uh, the draw works. And that lifts that cable system goes up, up and to the top, and it comes back down and loops around this. That's uh, called the traveling block here. It's a giant pulley system. And that's used to raise everything out of the hole. Where everything is suspended, the drill string, all the drill pipe connector is called a drill string. 
We got drill pipe connected to the heavy uh, collars, and then at the, at the very bottom, the stabilizers, and then the uh, drill bit. And it's all suspended by the draw works. And that comes in and out of the hole. And when we, uh, when we drill, we add more pipe and it goes on down. And then we have to, sometimes we have to trip out of the hole and pull all that pipe out and change the bit. And that's called making a full trip. And hit this gauge right here shows how much weight, how much weight we're putting on the bit. Behind the draw works, the draw works is powered by the diesel engines. There's two diesel engines there. And then there's the, uh, this is the doghouse. <clears throat> this is the doghouse um, where the um, men hang out and got some lockers. It's nice and warm in here. We'll store some tools and there's some more bits. Everything is uh, logged and written down. Here's where we keep track of how deep we are, basically. And all operations are meticulously written down and logged, everything. Behind here is the engines. Fresh water coming in, it's stored in the tank here underneath the uh, underneath the doghouse. And that water is used in our mud system. These are these are tanks here. These tanks are holding the mud. And these are these are called these are called mud pumps here. We got two of them. A main a primary and a reserve mud pump. Two mud pumps. And we mix up the mud. There's some of the mud over there you'll see in a minute. We mix it up, it gets mixed up and pumped. And those pumps pump the mud down the hole. This big black rubber hose here goes, goes up the yellow pipe, up and then down through the big black hose. And that's connected here at the top of the Kelly. Comes down goes through the Kelly and through the drill pipe and all the cuttings get flushed back up. The mud system is very important. We use it to cool the bit, lubricate the hole, and wash all the cuttings out. It also helps with pressure, it helps to stabilize the pressure. Stations here. There's a station here, a mixing station, and down there, and then it's mixed in here, and then pumped through the pumps, and, and up like I said, and it all comes out down here and goes. Right now, it's not hooked up, but it goes into the shell shaker here, and that's where it shakes out the larger particles and the, the smaller particles and water go back into the tank. We reuse as much water as we can. Also right here, this yellow is a desander, desilter, takes out even smaller particles. And the, the objective is to get down to where you just have water or very, very fine particles so we can reuse the mud. And then all the uh, larger particles go out into the pits here. There's nothing toxic. It's all bentonite and different, uh, like crushed rock and stuff. These are called tongs. 
This is a tong here. It's like a giant wrench that they used to grab onto the drill pipe. And there's another one over there. That's a tong. A giant wrench. <clears throat> this is a heavy collar. And the traveling block. Way up there. Those are called, that's a crow's nest. That's called the fingerboards up there. When we do a trip, when we trip out of the hole, the pipe gets racked up in those fingerboards temporarily until we can put it back in the hole. It's a very dangerous place to be. That's the drilling rig floor. Now we'll go over here to the mud tanks. This is the substructure. Once we get back to drilling, they'll install the uh, they'll install the blowout preventer. We'll go right there. Blowout preventer helps us uh, in emergency situation to kill the well. Right now we're not deep enough. And we still have to we have to cut off the uh, surface casing there. Up here to the mud tanks. That's the shale shaker. It's not being used right now, obviously. That's a drill pipe waiting to be loaded out there on the board. Some more heavy collars. See all the mud and the water's down here. It all gets mixed under here. And we, we test the viscosity and the mud weight right here this at this station. The mud engineer has uh, these measuring devices that aren't here right now, but he, he measures it right here and determines how thick or thin the mud is, and what we need to do if we need to increase the mud weight, because it's also very important to hold back the pressure. Because as the deep, deeper we go, the more pressure we're gonna encounter, the more back pressure, so we need to increase the mud weight, or we may need to lighten it up. And these are the desander, desilters, are used to filter out the finer particles. Mixing station here. Mud pumps. but it's not really mud mud. It's got bentonite and it's got some gel and stuff like that. Is this hydro gel there? This is a this is a main mixing station here. So they mix it up and put it in there. It's, it's very fine powder when they put it in. There's some example of it down there. Very fine white powder. Different kinds of chemicals and stuff, but none of them are too dangerous. Soda beads. Fluorides and minerals. Drilling paper. That's a uh, that's lost circulation material. If we encounter a zone where we lose circulation, we might have to fill it up with uh, lost circulation material, which is just like 
cotton and paper products and stuff they put down there. There's some more of that, lost circulation, LCM material, fiber plugs. Yeah, there's some lime. Lime, hydrogel, paper products, different kinds of chemicals and stuff. Makes it up and allows us to make the mud thicker, thinner. You can, here's the pits. You can see, see if I can zoom in. That sharp, uh, sharp image well number one. There it is. See the pump jack right there. I think the tank battery's over next to it. We're only about 20, 2,400 feet away from there. Not far at all from that well. That well produces out of the strong. It has some Mississippian in it. We're in a very good area out here. A lot of production around us. And that's about it. They will, they will drill 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We do intend on shutting down for Christmas, however. But, uh, We'll get to going here and, and back to drilling shortly and regular updates and reports will be put out on the website. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to call us. But everything is going good so far. I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you for participating with us on this venture. And if you need anything, let us know. Thank you very much.